Hello everyone, I am here today with so many good things to share. Today is a great day, today is also a rainy day and for the first time, I feel so happy when there's rain because it has been so hot the past few days and finally, you know, it's like cooling the whole place down. Even when I took my bath and I turned on the heater, it was still really cold. The water was just cold. And you know, so many things has happened over the past week you know, you may have been wondering why you haven't heard from me on Instagram, Facebook or anything. It's just so quiet and the reason is because ah, there has been so many events and things just happening one after another and you know, finally today, everything is kind of like done. The foundation of everything has been done. Now, just to keep you updated to what has been happening, we have got tons of new quadcopters. Our licensing for quadcopters have also been passed so we have the license now to officially sell these quadcopters anywhere in Singapore lots of new decks oh like the Bourbon deck it's I mean it looks like just a deck here but if you look at the reflection it actually reflects light so it's really very nice we've got the metallic deck we had the red one and this is the blue one after so many years this is finally here we've got the Cardi Street fanning deck for Cardi's these are the quadcopters that have arrived too and uh, this is the Elfie foldable one so you fold this, put it in your bag, walk around and as and when you want to make a video or, or take a picture you take this out and then you unfold it and you fly it and take the picture so this is really interesting now I've actually made uh, some short videos on this but I didn't have time to post it up so I'm gonna actually just put them together and you're gonna have a look at what these drones can do okay so another thing that has been happening to me the past week and keeping me really busy is this document that I had to compile uh, because some company some that company was harassing you know has been not was okay has been harassing threatening and causing distress to buyers and winning them over you know using uh, very underhand techniques and uh, we managed to capture a recent event. You know, these kind of events are not easy to capture, but we managed to capture recent events and they are all in this report. So we want to uh, really get everyone informed about this so they won't be a victim of what is happening. Whatever is stated in our report comes with evidence, okay? And we have more, but we don't have time or don't have space to share everything, otherwise you get really bored. Context of our report, we actually wrote about them and us, not them and other companies, uh, although companies other companies are well aware of this okay so protect yourself do not be the next victim okay so i'll just jump to the front and you can see that uh, internationally people actually know about this company but uh, many viewers or many consumers in singapore do not know that uh, they are causing problems for others and the reason why no one knows is because uh, usually sellers keep these behind the scenes we don't blow this up but you know this has been happening for a few years so i think it's time that people know the truth okay and then this is one of his supporters I think uh, many of you may know him, I'm not sure, but they put down Hidden Street Magic, they put down No Frills by talking about bad stuff about them, and then later they changed from a sub account to their main account and they started to promote themselves. This is a recent event of uh, them actually, Alan is the guy in charge of Cupvolution and he actually hounded Chen Sing so over an issue and he tried to, you know, force Chen Sing to admit or say that it was me and uh, Chen, Sing, Chen Sing tried to act like it was my fault you know, and say that, oh, I blocked him and everything, but he did not block me, okay? And it's shown down here, which shows that, you know, he, he said that, you know, he was trying to act so that, uh, he explained to me so that uh, Carp Volusion would think that it is my fault and not his fault and leave him alone. And then I said down here, that's why you don't use people's name. And then he said, sorry. So, but anyway, we forgave him. And, you know, the problem here is that Carp Volusion continued to hound him and continued to constantly imply that it was uh, related to other companies, in this case, Hidden Street Magic. All right, which is totally untrue. So he continues to threaten, harass, and cause distress. And then he still said he, he said this. We have one kid from Avril now in counseling center. Very intelligent way of putting the sentence. His way of putting comma and then next line. This is very intelligent. And then he still says, "I need to help you, uh, and you got to help me stop Avril." So this three sentence structure is very intelligent. Why? Because in this way, he tries to imply implicitly that this kid is in counseling center because of Avril and here we actually show the truth of what is happening uh, based on the messages that the person sent 
okay, like this person who is in counseling, what they sent us, and we were the one who actually helped him and encouraged him to go back to school. But he was years before meeting us already in counseling. And you know, the school, despite you being better or anything, you still have to constantly go for counseling. That's the school's method of doing things. He continued to imply that it was our problem and it was our fault. After 10 p.m., he went over to WhatsApp and constantly hounded the guy. Here is one very interesting message. We were actually helping at a school. We knew about this. We knew that someone uh, sent a message to cause trouble for us, okay? But here is the evidence years later that we get. Uh, he was the one who actually sent in the email and uh, told the principal that Avril was using the students to sell his products and earn commission. This is not true. He was the one who caused the problem by sending an email, causing this fear in the school. Um, there has been no evidence of this, I'm very sure, because if, if it is not true, there cannot be any evidence, other than probably fabricated ones from, you know, people messaging him, telling him, hey, you know, Avril did this, uh, which he has a lot of people message me and claim stuff, okay? So, but anyway, we show the evidence here. These are the kind of sellers that you face in the market, people who actually move out of the line, uh, out of your business to try to attack other venues of your private life, personal life, and, and more. And, you know, put yourself in, in my shoes and ask yourself, how do you feel about this, okay? How do you feel if someone attacks you out just because maybe you are in school or at your workplace uh, and, and they want to be better than you? So they attack you at your homes, they attack you by your parents, they attack you by your family, and uh, things that are your personal life, maybe your friends, they start to attack all these people. And this is the kind of person that we are facing here. The horror difference in what we do is honesty we want to always promote honesty we want to always push that as the first priority this is the message we sent to him we said that hey you know we are not involved with this guy chancing whom you're trying to attack but he then came and uh, forced us to help him by saying that hey i'm going to lodge a report and you're telling me you refuse to help so it's like you know okay let me put it this way a and b are fighting and A wants to attack B, and A tells C, hey, I'm going to attack B, and you're not going to help. If he didn't trust you, he wouldn't have asked you to help him. So he's trying to say that because B asked you for help, therefore you must help him because I am going to attack him. Uh, and this is the kind of heart of a seller that you're looking at, right? You guys are looking at that. Nothing to hide. These are messages, and we have nothing to hide. These are all things that you guys can see. Other sellers know that too. We just keep it quiet because, you know, to us, this is childish. To us, we don't bother. But this guy hasn't been stopping. He continues to behave, continues constantly a hooligan wanting to cook up trouble for everyone, be the nice others, make others look bad, and boost his own image. They may say, oh, you know, if they're right, ask them to sue us. But these are all evidence, okay? We don't even need to say much. We rather use that finance to benefit the community and that's something that we want to do. And if you're harassed, threatened or caused distress by him or his helpers, anyone who comes up to you and, you know, uh, say, hey, join our special groups, join our, you know, true cardistry groups, uh, which he used. That, that was the term he used, okay? Join the true cardistry group. Do not trust any of our information given. First, contact and inform any other card sellers. Talk to your parents on a tr or a trusted adult and do not be a silent victim, okay? If you really have problems, you can come to any of the sellers. We know about this, okay? If you're not sure, go to two sellers, three sellers, four sellers. You are bound to meet a seller who knows about what is happening, the truth of what's happening, and they will help you. We have morals, we have moral values, and we will help you. And by the way, in case you're wondering, this case has been brought up to the police, a report has been made, and the police knows about it too. They too have spoken. We have a recording of the whole conversation. They have a recording of the whole conversation too. They referring to the police and the police will help you. So can you see what has been holding me this whole week? Thank you so much, you know, for joining me. It, it is from today onwards, I believe that things are gonna be way better. You know, we have more things to do. Trust me, we, it's not done. Update on the dog. He has snowball. Oh, okay, he knows he's in the camera now. He's all excited. And that isn't a new toy, but it's a, a toy in which you put treats in and he tries to get the treat out. So it's quite interesting because as he rolls it around, it causes this vibration in there and uh, there's a lot of noise. So that makes him really excited. <laughs> You know, you know when he's trying to play with you, when he's biting the ball, look at him, he's biting the ball, but his eyes are looking at you, and anytime he's gonna just prance up, he's gonna pretend that, hey, you know, I'm gonna, ah, there goes, there goes, I'm, I'm playing my toy, but I'm gonna actually come up. Right, that's a good boy. Are you excited? Snowball has been really patient with me while I do. You just see that, bro. He ate a lot of bones, and 
It's funny because now his shit comes out really solid. Like, really hard. Yesterday I tried to squeeze one and it was rock hard. It's like tree bark. So the thing now is that we have had lunch <coughs> and uh, we came up to this grass patch here and there seemed to be quite an interesting fleetastic event here. And I think today is like the first day because you see them like setting up. So it's going to be quite cool. There's like food, there's you know quite random stuff. So if you want to drop by, you could actually check out. It's going to be on for the next few days. And the rest of the guys whom I just, some of them whom I just met are actually playing my quadcopters. This is so scary. You know what he just did? He almost got that quadcopter right in my face and he's <laughs> laughing. I don't get how he laughs when he's trying to kill me with that quadcopter. Right, so everyone's excited with the quadcopter and some of them have actually mastered stopping the quadcopter on their hands. Whoa! So basically they were supposed to fly the quadcopter from there right through above my head and then it crashed right into my head, okay? So we're gonna try it again. This is so beautiful! Waterway point during the evening. Oh my gosh, I am currently lost somewhere in Pongo. It's either in Pongo or Lasing Kang. I'm trying to find the nearest MRT station but I can't find it and I have no idea where I am. Okay, so here we have a letter from Sing Post, and uh, we're gonna check out what this is all about. This is not a very regular letter, you know, from this company. Yeah, so it's gonna be exciting. I am very sure. Yeah, so here it is. Strictly on a without prejudice basis, enclosed is a check dated this for the amount of three hundred and eighty dollars. Final settlement of the above matter. So yeah, finally I've gotten the amount you know transferred to me. Now look at that face, look at that face, that that scares me. This is the face that says, I saw you got that check, I saw you got that money, and hey, you know, please let me play with it, which means he's going to chew it up. He's going to find a way to find my check and chew it up and it's going to go into his stomach. Okay, so you have it. Now that is my day and it is really one of the most exciting and most fun day for me. You know, thank you so much for joining me on my journey. I know sometimes there may be some ups, there may be some downs, but just keep going on in life. And the most important thing is always do your best, okay? Always be honest, always do your best. And that's something that I stress to everyone I meet. It doesn't matter how other people treat you, you want to do your best in life because you want to look back and never have any regrets, okay? So stay cool, stay awesome, and be your best every day. Signing off, bye.